good evening to all of you today is a historic day isro has demonstrated that gslv mark 3 d1 and uh, gsat 19 mission we have been able to successfully put the satellite into the orbit and i take this opportunity to congratulate the entire team which has relentlessly worked over many decades and for this program from 2002 a great success in the maiden attempt and now gslv mark 3 has successfully put this at 19 which is the a next generation satellite with multi beam and we will be looking forward to the operation of this satellite now i would request uh, kunni krishnan director of uh, shar to say a few words on this occasion at the outset let me congratulate and salute the entire isro team and the participating industries for this outstanding ac accomplishment of the successful mission of isro's next generation launch vehicle gslv mark 3 with the new technology high throughput satellite gsat 19 weighing 3.1 ton the great heritage of isro culture the culture of teamwork and commitment to the nation and also the habit of isro to execute complex missions in a very professional way have ultimately culminated into yet another significant event in 2017 at sri hari kota enormous amount of efforts have gone in to accomplish this task for many years many generations and also various centers of isro starting from the vikram sarabhai space center the lead center for the design and development of launch vehicles the liquid propulsion centers lpsc and iprc for the development of cryo stage and the liquid stages the sadish dhawan space center responsible for realizing the massive solid motors carrying 400 tons of propellant together and integrating the whole vehicle and satellite and filling the huge amount of liquid and cryo propellants from a remote place 6 km away from the launch pad the launch campaign of our next mission pslv c38 with katosat 2 is going on full swing in the first launch pad in parallel with this and the launch is scheduled in the next half of this month and also the activities related to s200 preparation for the next mission of gslv mark 3 d1 also started and we are planning the total integration of our next gslv d3 next gslv mark 3 flight from the new second vehicle assembly bay for which the preparation is going on the project is in the final phase of realization and which is going to be three times bigger than the present vehicle assembly bay i am sure that the successful mission of gslv mark 3 d1 today will lead to the third stream of operational launch vehicle for isro with higher capacity payload and also the gsat 6 will lead to much higher throughput satellites in the near future let me conclude my words by once again express my sincere gratitude to the entire team for your wonderful job for, for this really wonderful mission thank you i am proud to be indian by having opportunity to work in this marvelous desi technology development today 5th june 2017 is a historical day in the indian science and technology which marks the commencement of a two major complex technology which is essential for the development of this country number one indigenous 100% desi heavy lift launch vehicle which is capable of lifting twice the the present capability of our isro vehicle second one is an advanced uh, satellite high throughput satellite which provides much more higher data rate than the present data rate of the satellites these two technologies in the days to come is going to create revolutions 
in the applications of space based technology for the common man of the country in a cost effective way more efficient way how this achievements are done is it a single person a single team no all of us are aware the stone the rock will break not only by the last and final hit it is by the repeated efforts by the all the team members for this purpose the former and present chairman of isro former and present center directors of isro former and present employees of isro academicians industries everybody contributed wholeheartedly to achieve this mission meticulously having seen this particular achievement what we are saying is like uh, last mission we had is 2014 december that is first two stages of this mission we had we had that passive cryogenic stage subsequent to that one last two two and a half years the amount of work done by the, all the centers of so mainly on aerodynamic shaping of the vehicle aerodynamic characterization of the vehicle innovative the fabrication strategy to uh, fabricate the hardware very fast way in an effective way cost effective way this is another thing and also the industry's uh, contributions make it that hardware to available the earliest along with the very very meticulous planning and carrying out the our new cryogenic stage test at the lpsc and iprc all these things really give fruit to us today if you are saying that technology not only development much much more new technologies are got into the vehicle as well as satellite one specific technology which we have been waiting for quite long time this is like a lithium ion cell it got into the satellite or beautifully function in the the, the the launch vehicle also in this great endeavor the the effort and support given by our senior the members of isro for meticulously planning and uh, carrying out a review and advices wherever essential to improve our uh, the system is a greatly acknowledged once again let me congratulate and compliment the entire team isro for this uh, marvelous technological growth or achievement what we reach, reach today and definitely the, this is not the end of the challenges to you we have much more challenges very very near future we are going to have i am sure that all of you will once again rise to the occasion and uh, meet the requirements of isro as well as let us make that indian technology to the to greater heights in the world thank you very much i have no words to express my joy of seeing gsli mark 3 in its maiden full-fledged fl flight, successfully placing GSAT-19 in orbit. This is a dream come true for all those who have worked behind for the last 12 years or so in realizing uh, such a, this complex technology of launch vehicle, the GSLV Mark III. This mission signifies the testing of C-25 cryogenic upper stage. This launch was, in fact, a test bed for this cryogenic stage to fly since we already done one of the mission proving the S-200 and L-1 ton and the basic vehicle in 2014. Today in this mission we have seen a flawless performance of C-25 stage, the fully indigenous developed gas generator cycle, cryogenic engine and stage, really a marvel of technological achievement. And I want to tell you that the team, cryo team spread across all centers of ISRO, LPSC, VSSC, IPRC and SHAR they have mastered the technology. The travel we had in the last 25 years in harnessing the knowledge, realizing the first of the cusp stage, which is flying successfully in GSLV last three flights, it has done fantastic performance. With the knowledge and the skill we have with the cryogenic technology in the GSLV, I'm really proud to say that the cryogenic technology and its no, uh, nitty-gritty details have been mastered by the team. When we look, stood today for the launch, the worry was very, very less. All the team members were very confident. The, even the countdown operations were the cryogenic stage filling and preparation has gone flawlessly. And the, also the flight of the stage in this mission. I'm really proud to once again say the 
uh, the country has mastered the complex cryogenic technology. It is not only the technology, it is a skill to realize this technological elements within our country. In our Indian in industries, institutions, within ISRO, we were able to manufacture this engine using our own materials and our own manufacturing skills, assembly skills, testing, in innovative testing methodologies, and the tools we have developed in understanding the whole dynamics of the engine, thermal, structural, flow, and the host of knowledge we have generated internally is tremendous. And the young generation who is working on this cryogenics are beaming with confidence. And I really want to congratulate and thank all of you who have contributed to making this cryogenic stage uh, successful and making the country proud. I am also very happy to see that GSAT-19 is a, it's a, one of the technological satellites which we are launching. It's going to change the way we look at spacecraft technology in terms of increasing the throughput and making the data services much more powerful and uh, spread across the entire country. And also, to, we call it the high throughput satellite compared to the earlier generations of satellite. And this technology is also going to make big change in this country in the communication revolution. Once again, thanks to all the people who have contributed, the generations of engineers and scientists who worked behind in developing the basic technologies in all ISRO centers, the industries who have helped us in realizing this cryogenic in engine and stage within the country, which is a really a marvel uh, of uh, engineering and engineering work. And I also want to thank all my...